Megan, high kick 2023 off to a horrific start. Here's every movie and show we want to scare us this year. Let's eat. Sick, January 13th, Peacock. Scream scribe Kevin Williamson is back with a pandemic set slasher that serves up nonstop surprises. The Last of Us, January 15th, HBO Max. Pedro Pascal and Bella Ramsey lead this faithfully terrifying adaptation of the hit video game series. The game's co-creator collaborated with Chernobyl creator Craig Mazin, and they promise to deliver plenty of apocalyptic vibes and fungus zombies. Teen Wolf the Movie and Wolfpack, January 26th, Paramount Plus. The show, based on the 80s movie, is now getting a film, with Tyler Hecklin, Tyler Posey, and Crystal Reed returning. And while Wolfpack is not a Teen Wolf spinoff, the show, starring Sarah Michelle Gellar and Rodrigo Santoro, is another werewolf story from creator Jeff Davis. Infinity Pool, January 27th, in theaters. Mia Goth and Alexander Skarsgård take you on a trip to hell and back. Brandon Cronenberg writes and directs this travelogue of depravity and terror. Maybe think of it as a gift. Knock at the Cabin, February 3rd, in theaters. Auteur M. Night Shyamalan's latest takes us to the woods for what could be the end of the world. Dave Bautista forces Jonathan Groff and Ben Aldridge to choose who lives and who dies in this psychological thriller. Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, February 15th, in theaters. Since that silly old bear is in the public domain, he can now legally seek bloody revenge. Or at least that's what enterprising filmmaker Reese Frake Waterfield has Pooh do in this indie slasher. Scream 6, March 10th, in theaters. Ghostface takes the train in the first Scream set in New York. Although Nev Campbell's not returning, Jenna Ortega, Melissa Barrera, Courtney Cox, and even Hayden Panettiere from Scream 4 are all back for another round. Yellow Jackets, season two, March 24th, Showtime. Antler Queens, assemble. The cannibalistic soccer kids are at it again. Jackie's fate has been revealed, but more murders and conspiracies plague the team next season. Your friendships are a little more complicated than most. Renfield, April 14th, in theaters. Dracula gets the Nicolas Cage treatment in a modern day retelling. Nicholas Holt is the vampire's disgruntled lackey who falls for Aquafina's traffic cop. Evil Dead Rise, April 21st, in theaters. Deadites without Ash. Many Evil Dead diehards refuse a sequel that doesn't star Bruce Campbell, but a seriously depraved and grating first trailer may have us singing a different tune. Here's what she said to me. Oh, not now. Fear the Walking Dead Season 8, May 14th. The Walking Dead, Dead City, June. The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon, late 2023, all on AMC. Fear comes to a close with a two-part season eight before passing the baton to Maggie and Negan. The unlikely duo end up in New York in the six-episode Dead City spinoff series. Then, Daryl Dixon takes a mysterious Euro trip to France near the end of the year. And the Rick and Michonne limited series will follow all of these in early 2024. Insidious, Fear the Dark, July 7th, in theaters. Star Patrick Wilson makes his directorial debut with the fifth Insidious film, set 10 years after the first two. Wilson, Rose Byrne, and Ty Simpkins return for a college set tale of demonic possession. Last Voyage of the Demeter, August 11th, in theaters. Dracula sets sail in this adaptation of one chapter from Bram Stoker's vampire novel. Corey Hawkins, Liam Cunningham, and David Dasmalchen do battle with the seabound bloodsucker. Hi. Um, blah. The Nun 2, September 8th, in theaters. The ninth film in the Conjuring universe is a direct sequel to 2018's Hellion and a Habit spinoff. Storm Reed and Tysa Formiga pray for deliverance from the diabolic Valak. The Exorcist, October 13th, in theaters. 50 years after the original, director David Gordon Green hopes to reset the franchise like he did with Halloween. Ellen Burstyn returns to guide Leslie Odom Jr. through the demonic possession of his child. It's a direct sequel to 1973's The Exorcist, so you can expect at least a cameo from Pazuzu. Saw 10, October 27th, in theaters. 
Tobin Bell's jigsaw will torture once more in a mid-quill entry set between Saw 2 and Saw 3. I want to play a game. If that wasn't enough, we also can't wait to get terrified by the new adaptation of Salem's Lot. The Stephen King vampire story stars Lewis Pullman and Alfre Woodard, and serial spooker Mike Flanagan has a new Netflix miniseries. It's based on Edgar Allan Poe's The Fall of the House of Usher. The limited series stars Willa Fitzgerald, Mark Hamill, and Carla Gugino. The house itself is evil. 